In life, we don't get what we deserve all the time. We get what we expect. And Alexander the Great once said, man's immortality is not living forever. Every moment free from fear makes man immortal. You know, Harvard Business School asked their students when they were graduating, what would you rather have when you graduate for a salary? Scenario A, and all dollars are constant. Scenario A is you make $160,000 upon graduation, and the rest of the students in the cohort, on average, get 150. Scenario B is you make $200,000, and the rest of the students, on average, get 220. What do you think they chose? 87% chose A. Now, you would think these are some of the smartest kids in the world, right? You would think that they're brilliant, they're going to Harvard Business School, they learned about money, and yet they chose the lesser economics. Because they're more focused on having versus having not. They're more focused in terms of your win is my loss and vice versa, when actually abundance changes everything. Abundance comes from a place of confidence. Scarcity comes from a place of fear. Breaking yourself of that type of thinking will change your life and change your world. In life, we don't get what we deserve all the time. We get what we expect. Researchers went to a first grade class, first grade class and they tested all the students to do an IQ test. And in that IQ test, they asked everybody, and they told the teacher, you're not allowed to talk to the students about this. You're not allowed to tell the parents. We're going to observe you for a full year, and you have to sign a contract of confidentiality on who gets the highest scores. Of the 30 students tested, five got genius level, more than 140 IQ scores. Five students. So for the course of the next year, they monitored the class. They monitored the teacher. And at the end of the year, they came back and tested all the students to see if there were any variations or differences in the outcomes. Who do you think got the five highest scores? The five genius students. No great surprise, except that that wasn't the true nature and subject of the research. The true subject of the research was that they lied to the teacher. None of the students the year before had actually been tested as gifted. Her expectation that those five students at a subconscious level, and she really did follow the rules, led those five students to get the highest scores. When you break yourself of fear, your thoughts go on forever. In life, we don't get what we deserve all the time. We get what we expect.